members of the teaching and non-teaching staff, student leaders, parents, guardians, boys and girls, good evening. It is my pleasure to chair this evening's proceedings of the installation of student leaders for the academic year 2021 to 2022. At the best school in the world, the Hilda Skeen Primary School. I am former student Chloe Joseph, current student of Harrison College. COVID-19 has significantly impacted the way we once did things. While many may dwell on the negative impacts, let's focus on the one positive outcome. That is having all you lovely persons here at this ceremony today in the comfort of your own homes. Previously, only the student leader's parents would have been able to view this auspicious occasion. However, today the entire school body is here. So I guess COVID-19 has some benefits. So now ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am going to invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this installation ceremony. At this time, I invite Josiah Gibson to officially welcome you to this evening's proceedings. Hip hip hooray! It's our Students Leaders Day! We are happy you see, so come join with me. From class 4 to nursery, we'll work as a team to fulfill our many dreams. Sirs, ma'ams, colleagues all, welcome one, welcome all. Thank you, Josiah. At this time, I will invite our sergeant to invoke God's blessings. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, from who cometh for every good and perfect gift, we beseech thee to bestow thy blessings on our school. Give to all who work here the true love of knowledge, which makes all our studies a discovery and a joy. May the spirit of loyalty and devotion bind us all more closely together, that we may labor, not for our own advantage, but for the common good. May thy wisdom guide and prosper all our works and games, that we may go in the love of all that is true and honest and of good report. And when we go out into the world, may, world, may we carry with us the idea and power of service, which thou hast given us in thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please welcome Isabel Oliver to read the first Bible lesson. This verse is taken from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 7. Trust the Lord in all thy heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mrs. Lewis, the songbird of Hilda Scheme Primary School, who will render the song, Trust in the Lord. Good evening. All things work together for our good, even though sometimes we don't see how they could. My encouragement for all of us this evening is to trust in the Lord. Direct 
trust him and thou shalt find good favor and good understanding trust him trust him and he shall direct thy path for we know that all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and for those called according to his will for he shall direct thy path. Trust him, trust him, and thou shalt find good favor and good understanding. Trust him, trust him, and he shall direct thy path. Trust him, trust him, and thou shalt find good favor and good understanding. Trust him, trust him, and he shall direct thy path. Trust him, trust him, and thou shalt find good favor and good understanding trust him trust him and he shall direct thy path and he shall direct thy path and he shall direct thy path. That was beautiful, Matt, as per usual. Now, you all know why Hildesteen has the best player, the best in the world. Our second scripture reading will be done by Jemiah Miller. Good evening. The Bible reading is taken from Colossians chapter 3 verses 23 and 24. Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. Here is the Bible reading. Our featured speaker this evening is one of our very own handsome, charming, devoted Adventists, Zikomo Ned. Join me in welcoming him to the podium. Good evening. Today I will share a quotation which is attributed to the great Albert Einstein, which says, Never give up on what you really want to do. The person with big dreams is more powerful than the one with all the facts. Again, I say, the person with big dreams is more powerful than the one with all the facts. Let us pray. Dear Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, for Christ's sake. Amen. When we look back at our lives, this day will be one of our fondest, having been nominated as one of the leaders of Hilda Skeen Primary School. Usually, when the world thinks of leaders and persons with dreams, we think of older persons, possibly teens or young adults. But what of young men like myself and my peers? What of young ladies? Throughout history, stories have been told of youth who did great things. But did they have dreams? 
I dream to one day become a YouTuber. That's right, a YouTuber. I am certain that my peers have dreams too. The word dream is defined as a cherish, ambition, aspiration, or ideal. Example, I fulfilled a childhood dream when I became a student leader. In this context, the word dream is it does not refer to what you do at night when you rest your head on your pillow and drift off to sleep. This dream is that which you desire to become. To give I say that you can become anything. Your dreams have no limits. Most of the time that we look for dreamers, we look to TV or singers, but today I will look to the Bible. The Bible records stories of children or young men or women who did great things and who had dreams. Several examples may be found in Josiah, Joash, Naaman's Happy, and Samuel, and none other than Joseph. Truth be told, Joseph did have the kind of dreams that we get when we fall asleep. But he could never imagine where those dreams would be. From a boy wearing a coat of many colors, he was favored by his brother. From a boy, he was envied by his brothers and sold into slavery. You see, sometimes in order to be a great leader and succeed, we will be disliked. But hold on to your dreams. Joseph was thrown into prison. And like our scripture focus taken today from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 says, Joseph did not lean on to his own understanding, he leaned on God. Joseph was then elevated to the Prime Minister of Egypt. And the our second scripture reading taken from Colossians chapter 3 verses 23 to 24 said, Joseph gave up his best. His dreams have become a reality. Today, fellow leaders of Hildeskeen Primary School, we have dreams which can become real. We have been called because the principal, teachers, and our colleagues saw what we could become. We are leaders who will give up our best. We are leaders with dreams. A quote from Farmer said, Harriet Tubman reads, Every great dream begins with a dreamer. All the students here at Hilda Scheme Primary School are dreamers. Don't be afraid and don't let anyone try to stifle your dreams. Whether you think your dream is big or small, keep dreaming and one day all your dreams will be realized. In conclusion, we are leaders. We are great and bold, never quitting, having hearts of gold. We lead by example. We show up what to do. We empower people to be part of a team, making them realize we can follow our dreams. Thank you. If your dream of being a YouTuber doesn't work out for you, then the preset may be your calling. Barbados, look out! For his brother is a common man. Now we have come to the part of the program you've all been waiting for. The installation of the student leaders for the academic year 2021 to 2022. We will begin with the house captains. Arrod Sergeant, House Captain, Red House. Radia Burke, House Captain, Blue House. Rajani Earl, House Captain, Yellow House. Shanique Ashby, House Captain, Green House. Now we present the class monitors. Gianna Cobham, Nursery S Class Monitor. Kezia Cumberbatch, Reception H Class Monitor. Anusha De Hall, Reception S Class Monitor. Trahim Gooding, AS, Class Monitor. 
Azura Skeet, AH, Class Monitor. Rakaya Graves, AA, Class Monitor. Shania Cumberbatch Alleen, BH, Class Monitor. Josiah Gibson, BA, Class Monitor. Sahara Seal, BS, Class Monitor. Kaylin Pilgrim, 1S, Class Monitor. Jade Blackman, 1A, Class Monitor. Janaya Butte Wharton, 1H, Class Monitor. Shania Ford, 1P, Class Monitor. Nishan Kelman, 2S, Class Monitor. Nelani Goldstone, 2A, Class Monitor. Cristiano Best Rock, 3H, Class Monitor. Delicia Maltley, 3S, Class Monitor. Kessa Hart, 3A, Class Monitor. Finally, the Prefect one. Majia Collimore, Prefect. Tashani DeHall, Prefect. Mark Barron, Prefect. Jemaya Miller, Prefect. Anaya Brathwaite, Prefect. Kayla Beard, Prefect. Akila Antrobus, Prefect. Zaya Gibson, Prefect. Gulshan Bridgemahan, Prefect. Aniko Fort Knight, Prefect. Azari Calendar, Prefect. Azario Welch, Prefect. Azaria Rudder, Prefect. The Cairo Wraith, Prefect. The Quan Miller Crawford, Prefect. Kelsey Walcott, Prefect. Kodari Simpson, Prefect. Kaimani Boyce, Prefect. Prince Bain, Prefect. Radaya Burke, Prefect. Riyad Harris, Prefect. Shemaya Spence, Prefect. Shakreen Skeet, Prefect. Shavir Headley, Prefect. Alistra Clark, Senior Prefect. Christiane Weeks, Senior Prefect. Davion Padmore, Senior Prefect. Kahari Nurse, Senior Prefect. Kayla Jordan, Senior Prefect. Nathan Seeley, Senior Prefect. Zikomo Ned, Senior Prefect. Shanique Ashby, Senior Prefect. Bajani Earl, Senior Prefect. Isabel Oliver, Deputy Head Girl. Shea Harding, Deputy Head Boy. Eden Graves, Head Girl. Caden Hunt, Head Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, the student leaders of Toyota Scheme Primary School for the academic year 2021 to 2022. 
and now taking the earth on behalf of all street leaders is our head girl, Eden Graves. Good evening. We, the street leaders, are from the state of the school, pledge to uphold the name, roles, and values of our school. Be responsible and gracious in our actions while assisting with maintaining discipline. We promise to be good examples to all members of staff and students to be fair, diligent, and maintain integrity while exercising our duties to the best of our ability. At this time, I will invite the principal of Hildesky Primary School, Mr. Ivan Clark, to make a few remarks. Madam Chairperson, teachers, parents, student leaders, Students, well wishers, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It gives me great pleasure to be a part of this ceremony and this great institution. Hilda Ashton Skeen, whose name adorned this school, was a leader in education, a leader in this parish, and by extension, a leader in this country, Barbados. This evening, I salute you, all of you student leaders. You have done well. You're called to service, called to serve your school, and by extension, your country. You were chosen because your teachers recognize the qualities and potential leadership skills in you. I encourage you to be fair, honest, think about other feeling, others' feelings, and treat others how you would like to be treated. Demonstrate by your actions that you are worthy of being followed. We are depending on you to assist in the managing of your school. For those who are not class monitors or prefects or head boy or head girl, you have a role too in ensuring that this school continues to be on a path of excellence. You too are leaders. Be disciplined and do the right thing, even when all others choose to do wrong. To you parents, you were the first leaders in your children's lives. Continue to nurture. Be the leaders in your homes that the children can follow. Demonstrate this by your, your very actions. I know you are proud this evening and we salute you. To all teachers, thank you for your service during this very difficult time. Continue to create the student that fits the Hilda Scheme profile, one who is confident one who has a quest for knowledge, one who is talented, confident, like our very own Chloe, talented like Shade, and Harad, and Zion, and all the others who welcome us today. To everyone I say, thank, thank you for helping us to usher in this generation of student leaders. I say, stand up talk, Madam Chairperson. Thank you, sir, for your words of wisdom. Hilda Skeen can proudly boast of having a very talented student body. And now, here's a sample of what we have to offer. First up, Zaya Gibson reciting a poem. She will be followed by Christiane Weeks in a dance. Then she Harden will culminate this evening's entertainment by rendering a song, A Million Dreams. That fire the drive inside your heart. Let no one see your dreams. Let no one tell you that you can't. Let no one hold you back. Let no one tell you that you won't. Set your sights, keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one see your dreams. Your only limit is the sky. Let no one see your dreams. Follow your heart, follow your soul. For when you follow them, you feel truly whole. Set your sights on high, keep them fixed. Set your sights on high. Let no one see your dreams. Your only limit is the sky. Where are you now when darkness seems to win? Where are you now when the world is crumbling? Oh, I Look 
join Shakri, Ski, and friends in singing this new song. With protocol being established, I have only one wish, and that is to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you. Josiah Gibson welcomed us all to this virtual school hall, and our road sergeant invoked God's blessings here with his opening prayer. Bible lessons were read by Miller and Oliver, and trust in the Lord Miss Lewis did render. We cannot forget Brother Ned for the sermon he eloquently said. Thanks to our head girl, Eden Graves, reciting the leader's pledge was brave. Shahara and Shaqueen Ski did well in song, while Christy made us want to dance along. Zay Gibson, we loved your poem too. You did what was required of you. Mr. Clark, you too deserve applause. Your remarks offered thoughts on which to pause. It would be remiss of me not to shout out the Hilda Skin teaching team. Staff, you did your best, to that we can all attest. Everyone, you did what you were required to do, and I extend a gigantic thank you. I am indeed grateful that you gave your best and entertained our virtual guests. Once again, to everyone, I extend a heartfelt thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a wonderful audience. Thank you, and do have a good day. To dream the impossible dream to find the unbeatable. 
My rest. 